You are my neighbors. Last week I had to go to one of the residents here and repent. You say, what you talking about? I had to go to them because I'm quite loud. And in church, I don't really need a microphone. I put the microphone down. We have a pretty big auditorium where we preach and teach the word. So when I come out here, sometimes I can be extremely loud. So I saw these ladies, the two of them, and I had to go over to them and told them, and look, I told them, I said, I'm sorry. I've offended you guys by being too loud. I, I told them I know I can get loud. And I'm sorry about being so loud that it offended you. I told them that the Bible says, don't let your good be spoken evil of. And I repented. I told them, please forgive me. And they both hurt me. I'm like, wow. That just blew my mind. But I felt like it was something that I needed to do. Because these are our neighbors. And a lot of you come here and you don't live here, but you camp out here. And this becomes your home while you're here. And people come to feed you and clothe you, pray for you, and encourage you to get into a place where you can get the help that's needed. So when people tell you that they love you, you get to see the love of God or that Jesus loves you. You see how much Jesus loves you because he sends food. He sends clothing. He sends people who will take care of your wounds. That's the love of God for you in the condition that you are. He comes to meet you right where you are. That's the kind of God I serve. He did that for me. Yeah, I'm 34 years clean from drugs and alcohol yeah, and a whole lot of other stuff. Yeah, whole lot of other stuff. God did that for me. Yeah. And I've learned that my God is no respect of persons. Yeah. What he did for me, he'll do for you. Because that's the kind of God he is. Yeah, yeah, God. Yes, he's caring. He's loving. He's merciful. And I just want you to have some hope. The holidays are coming. I'm sure there's going to be some Thanksgiving dinner coming down here. I'm sure that with the Thanksgiving dinner that's coming this week, there's going to be clothes and hats and scarves and gloves. And every time I see that, I know what it represents. It represents the love of God. God loving on you. We do love you. And I don't think we have to tell you that because you've seen it over and over and over again how much God loves you. Every time somebody pull up here, open up their trunk and feed you. Every time somebody pull up here, open up their trunk and give you gloves, give you hand warmers. Give you a ticket so you can go get an ice cream or a coffee. You want to know what Jesus loves look like? You're looking at it. You're looking at those who carry the love of Jesus and brings it to you. We come out just to love on you. As my brother said earlier, sometimes people just need a hug. And if that's you and you need a hug, I want you to come. Come here, let me hug you. Because I need a hug too. Come here, sweetheart. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus is love. And we love you. We love you. And I just want to tell you, when you see us out here, and you've made your mind up that you want to do something better than you're doing, that's why I come out here. Because I come to help you get in a better position to be blessed. I come out here to help you to get what I got. I want you to taste and see that Jesus is good. Amen. Remember, 34 years ago, I was an addict. 
I was a dope fiend. I was a stick-up artist. I did it all. My testimony is not about what I did. My testimony is but God. Yeah. If God can do it for me, he'll do it for you. Yeah. The problem is you don't believe it. You don't believe God can bring you out your mess. I know he will. I know he can. Because he did it for me. Yeah. God bless you. We love you. And I pray that God will bring you to the end of yourself. Hallelujah. You got to come to the end of yourself. You got to surrender. You got to throw your hands up and say, Lord, I had enough. Yeah. I had enough, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. God, Amen. do it for me yes. like you yes, did it for God. the preacher, Lord. Amen. Yes. He says you're able. He says you're able to do more than I can ask or even imagine. God, will you do for me what you did for the man on the mic? Yeah. Save me, Jesus. Yeah. Save me for me. Because yeah. drugs is not your biggest problem. You are. It's the way you think. God had to save me from the way I think. I had to get a new mind so I can live a new way. Think about that. I bet you never thought about that. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I had to get a new mind so I could enter into a new life. And all I'm saying to you today, if God did it for me, he'll do it for you. God's not prejudiced. Come on. I know we like to make him a different color. He, he, he's God. He's God all by himself. You can paint him white. You can paint him black. You can paint him pink. It doesn't matter. Just paint him L-O-V-E. That's what you paint him. Paint him L-O-V-E. And leave it right there. Leave it right there. Because he cares. So if you're here now, I'm going to close. I'm going to close down here. If you're here and you say, Pastor, I need some. I need for you to pray for me. Let me see your hand. I want to pray right where you are. You don't even have to come down here. If you need prayer, you want me to pray, just lift your hand. I want to pray for you. If you say, Pastor, I need to be saved. I need to change the way I'm living. Will you pray for me, Pastor? I need salvation. Salvation means to be rescued from hell. Anybody out here need to be rescued from hell? Anybody? Hell is a real place, and there are folks that's going to go there. I just want to pray that you come to Jesus. Don't come to me. I can't save you, but Jesus can. That's what he does. Hey, Dream City. 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 Anybody else need prayer, bro? You need prayer? somebody to hug me. Wow! That's why I love you, Lord. Amen. You're always blowing my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, in Jesus' name, I lift up this place, Lord. I know if you would be anywhere right now, you're here. I know you're in this place, Lord God. Holy Spirit is always where it's despair. He's there because he cares. 
God, I'm praying you move on the hearts of these. These, Lord, your creation, it may not be all your people, all your children, but they are your creation. And we hear, God, that they would come to saving faith in Jesus Christ. That's what we want, Lord God, for you to be lifted up and for these to be drawn to you. You draw them, Lord Jesus. Nobody else can do anything about this, but you can. You're able, God. You are able. Do what you do best. Right here. Right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm going to touch your heart today. I can feel it, and God is in this, uh, this place. He's with everyone here, and he's with you. And he loves you so much. And he always sees you. He never forgot about you. <laughs> you got, he loves you so much with all his heart. Amen. Amen. That was awesome. Even out of the young, they have a word of encouragement for you. I'm telling you, it could be your kid the next time out here trying to encourage somebody to come off the drugs, come out of the land of Lolabar, come out of this dry place. Release the neighborhood. You're holding the neighborhood captive. Little man, you got something you want to say? Come on, man. <laughs> Just say Jesus love you. Say something. Come on, you, you, you're, you're a representative now. Amen. You represent Christ. Jesus loves you. Amen. Amen. That's a start. Amen. That was the most powerful thing that could have been said out here in this park. Two words. Jesus loves you. Amen. God bless y'all. Two words, brother. See? Hey, I felt that two words, bro. Amen. That was awesome. You know the shortest verse in the Bible is Jesus wept. Yes. That's right. Two words. Listen, guys. I, listen. Don't get y'all little scriptures in your heart. Y'all study your Bible. And you keep it in your heart. And when you come out, you get an opportunity. Just say what God said. Yep. Amen. Thy word I've hidden in thy heart that I might not sin against thee. Amen. Once you hide it in your heart, no matter what you do, God demonstrates his love for you. While we will still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. And he's Amen. merciful and gracious. Amen. Amen. You can prophesy through the word of God. When you give somebody a scripture, you are prophesying the word of God. There's different levels of prophecy. But we all can give the word of God as a prophetic word. Amen. So remember that. You ain't got to be all the houses and cars and calling names. You know, you ain't got to stand up in front of the church and say, Thus saith the Lord. You can just come out and say what the Bible says. It's a testimony of Jesus Christ's prophecy. Amen.